Oh, look at him. He's a juggling, weird, hairy warrior. So this means it's warrior time. Yes, this is the warrior spotlight, or at least a sort of overview of some of the abilities. This is the class I played most and enjoyed the most during the beta. So I'm here killing some centaurs, hitting them with my hammer. Warriors are the big, meaty, melee damage kings of this game. Um, and their ability, the class ability is F1, and it's actually a bit like Rage. You build it up, those bars above your, your first hop bar, and then when you get some of the bars filled, you can actually unleash an ability on F1. The hammer one is actually a heroic jump, heroic leap kind of thing, which is ground targeted, and it will smash people in an area. Great thing about the auto attack is that it, it's just AoE, just constantly starts hitting people. Uh, I'm just sort of demonstrating a little bit here, but I'll, I'll go back to the hammer later because I absolutely love the hammer. I adore it. Um, plenty of knockdowns. You've got uh, sort of AoE knockdown, knockback knockdown, and you've got a cripple. It's all about, it's not actually very manoeuvrable, but it's all about keeping people locked down. How annoying is this going to be in PvP though? It's amazing. So basically what you've got here is the ultimately awesome PvP spec. If if anyone gets within range of you, they're hit by a two second knockdown, followed by a knockback knockdown, followed by a seven second cripple and a weakness. And the weakness means that um, their endurance regen is very very slowed. So they can't regen enough um, endurance to dodge away from you, basically. The the one-handed mace and shield are a bit more conventional specs. We've got a, a few sort of dazes and things. Burst skill is a, is a nice stun. Skull crack, which is quite nice. Uh, you can actually dual wield maces as well, uh, which I didn't actually show here. And also, you can equip a shield in your offhand. I remember you saying that the shields are pretty much worthless, though. I think they do provide armour. I mean... I couldn't see any sort of proper information about it, but the shield on Warrior is a lot better than the shield on um, Guardian. At least the shield on Warrior provides a sort of a, a shield bash, which is a one second stun, and a, a thing that blocks incoming attacks. Although it's got a fairly long cooldown. God. This here is a, a stance which I chose, which actually increases quickness. Now quickness is something we haven't really looked at, but basically it gives you this amazing buff which speeds up your attacks, like doubles your attack speeds. There's also a few other different sort of stances and things for warriors, but I'll, the one I really really love is that that frenzy. I think I used it actually in the, in the video just now, but I didn't show you. And this camp is now owned by us, <laughs> and now we have to like defend the camp from right. future attacks from centaurs. I was just gonna say, so this is one of the dynamic events. Yeah, it's um, basically set up so there's multiple fail and multiple win conditions so if the camp gets you know taken it leads to different quests and if it gets if it fails that leads to different quests this is a great sword which is a lot more maneuverable than the um hammer whereas the hammer relies on keeping people in place the great sword relies on moving towards them quickly so i've got this whirlwind aoe uh, in one direction, and then, I, but unfortunately, I'm, I managed to not hit him with Whoa. it. So the range is actually fairly short. This is Hunter Blades, which is an AOE ability. It hits everything in front of me. It's quite cool. Uh, I'm chasing this thing down to kill it after it screamed at me and stunned me. That's my that's my adrenaline-based ability, which is very hard. Uh, it's just basically a massive slash. I've also got this crippling greatsword throw, which is just nuts. And it also hits people behind, <laughs> so it hits people in a line. Uh, <laughs> and I've got this uh, AOE that? thing it's as well. It's not a boomerang. Um, which hopefully I'll show you. There you go. It's like a frenzy AOE. And uh, the leaping uh, leaping forward charge. Now, like I said, the difference between greatsword and hammer, two-hand hammer, is that the greatsword is a lot more manoeuvrable. And when I had hammer, I actually had to trait my charge, so my seven key. With greatsword, you don't really need a charge, because you've got a charge already. Um, I've switched out here to dual wielding two swords. Um, <laughs> I've, I'm just switching up so quick. I really want to talk about the warrior a lot because I played it so much and I really really enjoyed it. It was my favourite class in the beta. Just how it fell and how stuff died and how much variety there was. So 
again with short swords you've got a charge you've got a cripple you've got a sort of a blocky type thing and you've got a sword throw that, that causes them to bleed uh, so you can jump at them, actually jump over them as I found. It's a little bit buggy at the moment, it doesn't actually seem to um, jump at them super well, especially these neutral mobs who don't aggro on you when you just jump over them. Now I'm switching out again to, to, to dual wielding axes. Obviously you can switch these out, you can you know have an axe in one hand, a sword in off hand, or an axe in, main, uh, in off hand, a sword in main hand. Are there are there any weapons you can't use as a warrior, or can you use just like everything? You can't use the magical stuff, so you can't use the staff and uh, uh, scepter and things like that. But most of the other stuff's open to us. Um, Warhorn, there's my savage leap from my one-handed sword. Sort of ordinary sort of slashing going away here. Each weapon has a unique um, F1. And you can, if you switch between them at will, so the F1 there for the axe is um, a sort of double axe strike. Um, if you have dual wielding a specific weapon as well, like double axe, it has a slightly different ability on four. Um, so if you're dual wielding axes, you get a dual strike, whereas if you're using an axe and a sword, you get a slightly different kind of ability. Warhorn charge forward. And speed boost and a fury buff. Switch to the axes. Do a bit of sort of swinging. I'm gonna. There's a flurry. <laughs> it's hard for me to go through all this in oh my God. talking about it. So Hannah's gonna throw up some annotations so you can actually see what the abilities do as they go. Um, and that'll be easier for you guys to see what's going on. Um, axes. I love this sort of feel of this 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 class. Just swinging axes about like this though. I mean, every every weapon with the char animations to it just feels so, like, horrifically damaging. <laughs> yeah. God, I'm getting owned by this mower bird. It's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, there you go. There's some, some axe action. And I finished off with my charge since they were running away, uh, which is uh, like a little knockdown. <laughs> God. So yeah, ranged weapons. You've got the rifle. You've got access to the. the I think it's. The, I think it's the short bow. I'm, I don't think you have access to the long bow. Um, but I used a lot of rifle, and found it actually very, very versatile. It's. It's great to have. It's great to have a ranged weapon in the playstyle because there's so many opportunities to use a ranged weapon in this game, and it's a relatively easy thing to switch between. You know, if you with because it's it's basically switch weapon. I haven't mentioned this, but it's bound to like the button to the left of of one. Um, so it's very very convenient to switch weapons. No one, no games mm. really use that button very often, and I often in previous MMOs found myself binding that to something like um, a, an important ability like feign death Shrink or, it or something because it's right there. It's a button that's right there. Yeah. Like next to the keys that you press. And no one uses it. I love the abilities in this game, how they're all so different. So, the first ability for short bow is double arrow. <laughs> right? It's not It's not just shoot. It's shoot two arrows. Uh, the combustive shot is the ultimate oh, no, thing, no, and it no, just no. does like a big bomb. I'm sort of out of range there. That's a sort of uh, crippling shot or dazing shot. That takes a long time to land and sets things on fire. And that's the sort of adrenaline skill. There's an explosive arrow. This wow. one fires a spread of arrows and sets things on this fire. Cool. This is a warrior. It's not a ranger. It's not a hunter. It's not any of that. This is a warrior. Firing double arrows of a short bow. It's because you're so strong. And the rifle, obviously, with the knockback, um, which I showed in the sort of single player. The multi shot thing where you just fire a whole bunch of bullets and the, the headshot which sort of dazes um what's it called? Brutal shot. Oh my goodness. It's cool as heck. And kill shot is the ult. Now watch this. Bow. One shotted. How'd you like that? Oh my god. <laughs> that did five hundred damage. Um <laughs> cause it crit. It's ridiculous. So I've I've actually got um there's some sort of champion oak heart here, just like wandering around. Now champions are even harder than veterans. They're just like absolutely 
the worst. They're like super veterans. And I'm actually putting on my sort of favoured combo here of uh, mace, no, not mace, sword, and warhorn off uh, on my alt, and then um, hammer as my main. Uh, I also haven't actually bought an elite trait, which I probably ought to do. I'm going to get one of them, I think the first one's a signet. Oh, God, yeah, Rampage. I really want to spend money on that, but I don't have enough flipping skill points. Rampage is the one that basically turns you into the brute that you saw in the Engineer video, where you punch things and kick them with your fists. Oh, um, yeah, that's good. But I didn't that's have good. enough skill points for it, because I'm, I'm so disappointed. It's only the beta, I didn't have enough time, really. Um, I had 48 hours to like level up all these classes and stuff and show them off. Uh, what else have I got? It's taken us weeks to get through all of this as what well. I, can... I know. From that was one like two week weeks ahead. ago we played. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to remember this stuff from when we did it. So I've just specced a few extra things in to get. And these are actually signets which I chose. They give passive abilities but you activate them to give yourself a temporary buff. So I'm Warhorn, Speeding and Fury buff myself. And I'm going to attack this really, really hard creature. I mean... Right? What is that? Is that a, it's a tree monster? It's a giant monster with trees coming out of its ass. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm, I've hit frenzy. I'm attacking twice as fast. You're I'm dodging crazy. out of the way of its attacks. Um, he's, it's spawning these uh, seed pods, which are like healing it. So I'm having to smash them, and then it's sort of I'm going back onto it again. Now, it's look at that. It just healed to full off that one seed pod that I sort of <laughs> left there. Um, Damn. That's so harsh. I'm like, oh crap. So I'm I'm knocking it. I'm trying to use the knockdown. I'm trying to use the spin attack. But it doesn't seem to like uh, the knockdowns. And obviously this is also mm. a, a sort of randomly generated mob as well. So it will have different kind of abilities. I don't think abilities. this is going to end well for you. No. Look how much life it's mm. got. And I mean, it's, it's obviously hitting pretty hard. But I'm I'm trying to dodge. And I'm like trying to use my heal. Um, I'm getting knocked down pretty bad by it. Um, and that is actually the summon pods thing, so I now need to kill these pods again. But fortunately, I've got this sort of AOE you kill hammer. All of those. And the great thing about this game is that you don't necessarily have to individually target this stuff to attack it. You just keep pressing the buttons, and it will hit whatever's near you. Especially if your ability is like hammer, and your hammer hammer blows are all AOE by nature. So you'll automatically just AOE in the region of of where you hit the ham hit the auto attack hammer blows. I'm getting knocked down again. I should probably learn to dodge that, but I don't know if I do. I'm hitting Signet of Rage. I'm getting smashed again. Uh, I didn't actually manage to hit that Signet. I thought I'd just leave the passive on for now. Now it's summoned some worm things, so I'm like, oh crap. It's just squash these with my hammer. Oh, oh. I'm getting a little bit low on life at this point. You still had your heal so up, though. I'm buffing. But... It didn't seem to do very much. No, uh, it didn't, did it? I used my ult to kill that seed pod. Fortunately, the big guy got distracted by um, by one of the NPCs, but he's still on like 75% life. So I'm like, oh, jeez. So I'm like, right, let's let's use my 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 random mm -hmm. buff to like boost my hit points a little bit. Let's bring out the big guy. I was going to attack, but then he he put me in roots. So I was like, oh god. So I used my ult to run away. What? Um. You're asking for help from the NPCs. They're like, fuck help you. <laughs> <laughs> they are literally like, fuck you. And they want that guy run it's away. Battle. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that one's actually attacking with a fire arrow, which is kind of cool. So it, it takes the heat off me for a sec. So then I charged in with my... Why aren't you just shooting it with a bow or something? God's sake. Oh, See, so God. I've taken it down to 40%. So I'm feeling good. <laughs> He's put roots on me, so I kill the roots. But... Any um, seed pods. There's parasite oh. worms coming to get me. These oh, things God. hit pretty hard for what they are. There's seed pods up. Yeah. I'm like, oh, sh Crappington. He's swung at me, but I managed Ooh. to dodge it. I'm using my ult on these guys to smash them all. Um, dodging out the way of that. See, I'm slowly beginning to get familiar with this. However, he's now healed up again. Oh. And, and I'm... One thing I'm not using here is the versatility of the two specs. So I'm not switching to my Warhorn when I could be. I'm buffing myself and then switching back. Um, and using all my other charge and maneuverability with the second weapon. So there you go. I switched to Warhorn. I used the speed buff to get away. 
I, I'm using the adrenaline to run away from him as well to get away, and then I'm going to charge back in uh -huh. with the sword, switch back to hammer, um, oh God. and then do some more attacking. So he healed. Look how much he healed. He actually healed like 30% when he summoned the healing pods. That is pretty lame. Um, Are you sure you shouldn't get some help, so to speak? No, I mean like some friends to help you. Yeah, of course. This is like. Um, this is like a, a boss that's designed for for groups, you know. You need to have multiple people, but obviously it will scale based on who's nearby. Uh, although I think the minimum scaling for this mob is probably five people. <laughs> oh, God. The dodging is a, such a key thing in this game, and I really only realised it after I'd sort of done this, how important it was. If you can dodge effectively, then... It is the it is the basically the definition of of. You're invincible. I'm I'm so annoyed that this boss won't be knocked down though because hammer I'm, I I I made a mistake by going into combat with hammer. Twenty nine health. You're up twenty nine. He's health. really low. Look, he's really low. I've got him. Look at that. Good God, heal for God's <laughs> sake! Oh, there it go. was on cooldown. I was waiting for it to come back up. Oh my. God. God. So I tried to use my ult then on the sword, but he interrupted it, so um, I'm using the ultimate with the... Oh god, get away! Get away! It's alright, look, he's nearly dead. He's nearly dead. Yay! Um... Da 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 da... Uh, da um... Da da... Uh... <laughs> Hello? <laughs> so, they didn't think that anyone would kill it, so they didn't give it a death animation. Is that what's Maybe. going on here? Yeah, this guy here. Uh, I think the reason I killed him was because this guy turned up, and he was a ranger, and he started hitting him. Oh, there you go. I could loot it, so I looted a a, a, a resilient axe, a leather bag, and some other gubbins. Oh, it makes it, it all worth it, doesn't it? Yeah. What do we get for watching this? Do we do we get some gear as well? I feel like you ought to get a gear, some gear for watching that. Can I have oh, a leather yeah. bag? That'd be lovely. Well, I thought that with this with this video, people have seen a lot of warrior action on my other videos, and also I'm going to sort of do a little bit of solo playthrough of, of the warrior. So, people have seen warrior more than some of the other classes. So I thought I'd show like a bit more something mm. different in in terms of yeah. the actual gameplay of this game, because it is very different from the other MMOs. The combat is so much more slick and funky, and the way the, the sort of endurance encourages you to dodge very actively and pay attention. I really wasn't paying attention very well and I got hit by a lot of swipes that I shouldn't have got hit by in that fight. But it shows that like you can, you know, kill these big bosses if you have the skills to pay the bills. <laughs> and you do. You do. Yeah, well there you go. So thank you for watching everyone and we will see you next time. Bye!